Ladies, did you know training some kickboxing combos on the focus mitts is a great workout while having some fun and practicing your basic self-defense strikes all at the same time? Stay tuned. Ma'am Cheryl here along with Master Jonathan and we are the co-founders of Empowered. We strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through defense and empowerment training. In today's video, we will show you a fun yet effective kickboxing combination you can do with a partner while using focus mitts. Partnering up with someone like a friend or family member to pound on the mitts while having some fun is a great way to get in your workout while spending some quality time with someone or to get out that pent up aggression. Ma'am Cheryl and I are now going to break down a kickboxing combination, a few variations for you on the focus mitt to keep your workout motivated, interesting, and effective. Okay, today we're going to go over the uppercut lead leg round kick. So our face partner, uh, front leg, or left leg forward, right leg back. I'm going to do my uppercut, lead round, and that's that. Now, with the uppercut, this is not Mike Tyson knockout, which is a game way back in the 80s in our generation where we can use an uppercut like that. If you know a man did an uppercut, it was very subtle. But she dropped her weight and it was just a little short punch because you're aiming for the chin and jaw and you don't have to be a big fall through. Just slotting down with a quick action is more than enough to potentially knock you in a folded out. So, you're going to be able to do the combo, so uppercut, around. Now, if you feel that you're a little bit tight, I'm going to give you a little bit of a folded one. May have not so talk about, which is the switch around. And that might be better for you if your opponent or sparring partner or attacker is really close to you. So now, work on that and we're going to work on the next variation. Okay, a variation on this is the bob and weave. So, facing your partner, Sarah's going to throw the punch at me. I will hit the thunder and up, and then go into our combination. Now, with the bob and weave, it works really well off hook punches. And now, uh, since I'm throwing my lap, that means she has to move to her lap to get away from the strength before doing like a little U-shaped movement. So when I throw my left hook, she's going to move. Now from here, because my, my punch is here, she can hit me, but I can't hit her, which makes it very effective for that uppercut. So let's do that again. So that's really a nice uh, way of doing the bottom weave. So that she protects herself. Now naturally, she'd be hitting me in the jaw or she'd be hitting me in the ribs. Hold by that round help. Okay, and the last variation, we're gonna do the switch round round. It's so facing your partner. Switch legs, round, round. Now most people normally will just do one round help after a switch. Doing a double round or a round round after changing it up, changing up the strategy, and that allows you to get a little more power in that second kick. Like, you know, whether it be for self-defense or competition. So let's bring that down again. So uppercut, switch, double round. Now you know she's doing the same height. We're going to do one more variation of that variation, which is going to be the uppercut, switch, low, and then a higher round hook. Let's do that. So uppercut, switch, round, round. And then you can have multiple targets. You hit the leg to the rib, you can hit the leg to the head, you can go to the rib to the head, mix up the different height of your roundhouse during the variation. This is a fun way to get in a great workout with a little bit of impact and self-defense training. It's extremely important to get used to hitting something besides just punching in the air. For more striking ideas to include in your Focus Mitts workout, be sure to check out the Empower Striking videos or playlists to your right. And don't forget to have some fun with it. And ladies, remember, you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.